Hey everybody, welcome to artofpodcasting.com. This is Logic Pro for Podcasters, quick and dirty secrets. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate around inside of Logic, how to use the basic function tools, and really just speed up your editing process. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you are the sliders that are available in Logic and control the amount of real estate that you can view at any one time. They're very powerful. You've got one slider on the bottom of the tracks here uh, that you can move back and forth to scrub through the audio tracks. You've also got one on the side here. The other thing you can do is you can adjust the length of the slider and as you see as I shorten up the length of the slider it really brings up the audio wave files and makes them that much more granular. And then of course you can still scrub back and forth. Those same functions are available on the uh, the vertical slider as well. So pretty nice there. You've also got two other uh, sliders that work to the playhead. And I'll just move these across so you can see what they do. That changes all the views there with the audio files. And then I can control the width of the wave files as well. So between those four sliders, you can very quickly jump through, find a view that fits you, and go in and make your audio edits. Now let's talk about the magnifying glass, which I think is one of the most powerful features for getting in and out of a tight spot, making an edit, and then jumping back to an overview. So to pull up the magnifying glass, you'll hit Control Option, and you'll see my cursor will turn into a magnifying glass when I do that. And all I have to do is drag and hold, highlight a particular area, and when I let go of the clicker, the mouse, you'll see it pulls up the area that I highlighted. This makes it real easy to go in, make an edit, and by the way, this uh, trim feature is always available anytime you're at the lower corner of an audio track, where you can go in, make an edit, do what you need to do, and then hit the command or actually the control option, click, and then it zooms back out. So you can very quickly go to an area, trim up something, zoom back, go to another area. And it's just, I mean, it's so nice to be able to go through and just pick areas of your podcast to go in and make surgical edits and adjustments. So that magnifying glass, you'll find to be a very powerful tool and it's always accessible. You don't have to go into a menu system to get to it. And for this last little bit, I'm going to show you how the editing tools work inside of Logic because these are very powerful and, and really work on the fly. If you'll see here on the right hand side, if I hover over this, this is my left click tool. And when I click the left click tool, these are the menu items. Everything here can effectively be my left click tool. If I hover over the next tool selection, you'll see this is my command click tool and it works exactly the same where anything here can effectively be my command click tool. And these work simultaneously and you'll find that to really become powerful at editing, you'll want to find the right combination of tools for the job. But let me show you how this would work. I'm going to zoom in on this track and let's just say Obviously now I've got my pointer tool and my scissor tool, and let me show you how you'd quickly access them. So with the pointer tool, I can highlight a track, I can move a track around, that's how the pointer tool works. And if I need to quickly go to the command tool, as soon as I click the command button, you'll see the pointer tool changes to a scissor. And that's how that works, so I can go in I can use the pointer tool to drag, move, change, and then if I need to make a quick cut, I can go to the command tool. I can cut here, I can cut there, I can cut there. Maybe I wanna highlight these two, bring them down. But you see how on the fly, just by toggling between these two tools, it becomes a very powerful sequence. The other thing that's very nice is Logic doesn't force you to have to go all the way back to this area to make a tool change and make a selection. So for instance, to access the tools, no matter where I'm at on Logic, all I have to do is hit Escape. 
And this becomes very nice because wherever the cursor is, my tools are right there within reach. So right now, let's just take these two tracks for instance. If I need to change out a tool and maybe I want to put a fade on this audio track, all I have to do is hit escape, scroll down to the fade tool, and now it's right there for me. I can hit escape twice, and now it goes back to the pointer tool. And you can see I can move that around, do whatever. Uh, very nice combination of features. The other thing too with the menu system is you'll notice they all coincide to shortcut keys. So I don't even have to scroll through here to make a selection. I can just hit escape zero and now you see I'm, I've become a fade tool. I can hit double escape again back to the pointer tool. Escape five and now I'm at the scissor tool. And it becomes so fast to switch through the tools, make the edits, it, you can really just fly through this. So that's the tools and that's how to navigate in Logic. I hope you liked it because we've got a bunch more videos coming and I'm going to provide a link to the next video in the sequence. Thanks for watching.